Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome back to, or previously on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, we completed the previous dungeon and got Furore's Pearl. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to go take another pass through the dungeon and clean it up and get what we didn't get and then we're going to continue on toward the next, we're going to get something else. Uh, and then continue the story. So first we need to open the mailbox and there's one letter. It's not really a good idea right now. Mailbox should wear a mask. Uh, and Orca, I think this is from Orca. Um, no. I thought it was from Orca, but, um, yeah, piece of heart. A piece of heart. That's nice. So, I'm gonna go back to the dungeon. See you then. I'm almost forgetting how to play Wind Waker. Oh, in case you didn't notice, I'm trying to use the, uh, partial range for color instead of the, uh, full range, which should... We have to, yeah, we have to take, no, I'm having a hard time playing Wind Waker since I haven't played it much lately and not really used to it anymore. I'm recording using limited, yeah, limited range, and I'm also making it so that the 640 by 480, so that the input is converted to 640 by 480. The 480p input is converted to it. Both of those things should help out with uh, the editing process, so I only, so I will only have to trim the video, resize it. I only have to trim the video to the. Uh, oh no, we don't have enough magic. Wait, what? So we don't, we don't die now. Oh. Well, that's inconvenient. Oh. Okay. Hang on. This is kind of annoying that it's like, oh hey, we're gonna help you. Yes, help. About as helpful as. Microsoft. That was helpful as Microsoft trying to tell you what to do or or if you know if you already know how to um No. Or if you already know how to, for example, do battles in the Mario and Luigi series and the character forces a tutorial on you and you don't want that tutorial. Yeah, that's about as helpful how helpful the uh, respawning... Uh, wait, did I go down? Yes, I did go down there, I think. I haven't even gotten to the point of the video yet. Um... Did I get... That was weird. Huh, can I do that again? Huh. I must have jumped slightly or something. That was really weird. Oh no, I missed. Yeah, that should get us over there now. Should, I hope so. Um... I don't have enough magic. Maybe I can just... Inconvenient help. Is that a trope? Because if it's not, it should be one. So anyway, I'm using 640 by 480. 
in the capture card settings, so that should... Wait. No. I don't want to be on the boat. So this place, too, has been attacked by Galen. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northeast of here. We must set sail immediately. There's no... There's no time to waste. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I so far out here? We gotta go back here. Oh, we can't go back there yet. We need to go get the rest of the stuff. There's a lot to remove from this video. Oh, yeah, I did it again. Oh, it's weird. And also, the limited range should help with not having to use color correction as much. I don't know if I will still have to. You know, let's just try to jump out of the boat and fly instead of going all the way around. See if that'll work. Hey, Link, we have to go get stuff done. No, but I do need magic. So what's nice is you can get the uh, Deku Baba Seed and then, um, oh no, oh, I forget, I said before that I forget that you can't just, you don't just refill your, it's not a stamina gauge, it's magic, it's not like Breath of the Wild. Okay, so there are there are treasure charts in the Forbidden Woods. I might just have to cancel the video and then just... Oh, that's Tingle's chart. Okay, so 15. I think I only got one. Okay, so there's one that gives us a silver rupee, according to Zelda Wiki, number one. And number 15 gives us a piece of heart. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go after number one. And then I think the rest of the items are just... It's going to say coins, but rupees and stuff. Or other items. Yeah, I'm going to restart this episode. And then, like, trim it in. I need to keep it because I got the uh, piece of heart at the beginning. But that's it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to put these two together. Hello, everybody. This is Drew Nailer, and... Uh, previously on Wind Waker, uh, nothing really happened because I'm putting these two together. I need to go over here. I need to go this way, I think. There we go. The only treasure chart that I would be interested in is what I have now. So, yeah, that's good. So I don't have to worry about anything, as far as I know. The other treasure chart was just a silver rupee, which, while that is, that would be useful, I don't really need it. So I'm going to go over to this square. Might be a while. Wait. Hang on. I need to go feed the fish. Okay, where is the fish? Did, oh, I think I saw him jump. Nope, I'm not going to go into Beetle's shop ship because, no, well, that's not it. But I want to get whatever is in here anyway because I'm already here. And I have to... Do I need to turn around? Oh, there we go, we got it. Okay. I don't know what's in here, probably just some rupees, which this will be bad if if they're worth a lot because we'll need a lot later. Oh, okay. Oh, 50. Well, that's not bad. Okay, where is the fish? Oh, there's the fish. There we go. Oh, oh, the camera didn't like that. Um. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna 
get this part of the map filled out. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I think he's talking about a Goron that a Goron merchant. So is this still in the right direction? No, it's not. Oh yeah, the, the fish stays there. Let's go check on, see what's in the shop really quick. Mm, nothing, in, nothing interesting anyway. And then the boat moves back over here. Fish. Oh, this is a uh, a battle submarine. Oh, it's daytime now. That's nice. Oh, I can't fit through there. We know it's night. I thought it was daytime. I think it's getting. Oh, it's storming. Thunder. Oh, it's like one of those action sequences where it shows things happening from multiple angles well, over and over again. Like this angle, this character jumps and then it shows it from this angle, in this angle, and then this other angle. So let's see what this square is. I don't remember. Oh, bomb aisle. That's right. can't do anything here yet. Oh, we're stuck. Not really. But I do want to go back over to that. Um. Ah, yes. Nice. Daytime. I do want to go back over to the... this thing. It's nice that the music is playing again. The TV I have this hooked up to is like really, really bright. Or like the colors are really bright, so yeah. Wait, no, we were already in here. Yeah, we, I'm wasting my time. Oh, that was kind of weird. I'm gonna leave those until I have more wallet space because I don't want to um, use up. I don't want to um, get rid of all the... Okay, that's filled in. I figured it was, but I wasn't quite sure. It's loading in another square. So anyway, the TV that I'm playing this on has really bright colors, and it's really, it's rather muted on the preview, the recording preview. It's weird how some of the water has foam or whatever in it, and, uh, oh no. Some of it doesn't. Oh, okay, good. Since the video is 640 by 480 as opposed to uh, being stretched in or squished, I guess, that should help make it look a lot better in the uh, recordings. Plus, I shouldn't have to manually stretch it to like different percentages.
Oh, that's weird. I didn't know that Octorox could shoot bombs out of their mouth. Huh. Oh, uh, yeah, it's getting... Dark again? Oh. I need to turn first. Sailing takes such a long time in this game. We're almost there. I think this is it up here. Yep, should be. Anyway. Yep. Oh, it's nighttime now. Yeah, it is. Yep, there we go. Hey. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? What's happening to you? What is the meaning of this? This island, the island, it is. We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little great wake, a great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, there, Link. And here comes the mailman. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to port report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Jaboon is 404. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. I don't like that place at all. Ugh. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is, he is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? I, on the island where you were born, an outset. Oh. Yet yeah, even if you were to go to outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he uh, hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repeals repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outside Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain, an gain entrance. I've heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd, you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas. But this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Hmm. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas. Are you sure about that? Because I think we just went to a place that has at least rain, if not thunderstorms. Velu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would, I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. My work is done here. If you wish to see me later, please run whatever I called that script. Is there anything under this rock? Nope. 
So, uh, yeah, there. We'll come back here later. So let's -a go. So Jab, so Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. Luckily, he paid attention to it. He must have had a machine or something tell him about it. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hide, Jabun hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? So, as the King of Red Lion suggests, we'll go there. So, uh, yeah, we can go there. Windfall Island. Uh, yeah. So, let's turn around. Nope, wrong way. Uh,. There we go. We can come back here later and get a, I think there's a piece of heart somewhere, but I don't think it's that easy to get it while it's storming. Plus, you can't exactly see much right now, so. So we'll go back there. I'll see you when we get back there. I don't know where the fish is. I can, I can feed the fish later. I don't really like this music, it's kind of creepy, scary. Makes sense, but you know. I like how it's the sailing theme, but then it's like, da 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 you know. Like it's, like it's da 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 and then it's, it sounds darker. Like it, the the th the sailing theme starts, and then it just yeah. If that makes sense, I hope that's not. I hope I'm not being too offended. What is that thing? I hate those. Whatever they are. I have no idea. Oh, there's the fish. Sometimes the water turns red. When I'm... Uh, around these things. There we go. Whoa, okay. That's kind of weird. So the fish will tell us what island we're at. This island is called... Oh, this is Tinkle Island. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Um, oh yeah, he's telling us about Tingle. Uh, so basically, um, there will be other sea charts. There will be other sea charts that we'll get later on in the game. Oops. Oh, that was... Boat went up in the air. Actually, wait a minute. Can I attack that thing? There we go. It looks like a shark. No. Kind of looks like a shark. I don't think it is. It's weird how. The storm keeps going once you get to uh, Great Fish Island, which is where we were just at. It's weird how the storm keeps going, but I think that's something for the story. So anyway, sometimes the... wow, it's getting really dark. Hmm. Um... Uh... oh... okay. I don't like those. I, I don't really know what they are in Wind Waker. Oh, so we're... Wait, what? What happened?
Why did it reload? That doesn't make any sense. Did it run into one of those and then it just go? Or maybe it was like, oh, we need to reload this spot because memory something is... Wait, I didn't go up to that spot. It is just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. So, we're going to go up here. Oh, this isn't here. But what we need to do is... Oh, oh no. Be right back. Wait, what? Where am I? Oh. Oh yeah, we gotta go up here. Yeah. So we have to go... We have to go up here, climb up, and then crawl into this space. Oh, that was kind of weird. Put it back. Oh, I wonder what was in front of there. So now we're listening to it. Or now we're listening to him. I don't know how you would know to do this, but... Uh, I don't know who's talking. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we got- that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've got running here, yeah? So, I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo. I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top notch. Well, top quality. It's funny though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such, shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with, with your cunning and Miss Tetris smarts, if you got, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever set, ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Miss Tetra, are you listening to this guy? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves, yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done, lo you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. I like being on land. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful, awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. Say, what's... Wait. Did you just say that? I think 
I don't know. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're fine with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You saw that demolished, demolished island? You saw the senseless destruction? We have to hurry on to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. She knows Link's up there. All right, fine, have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Me! Aye, aye. And they all say that. So there's something, oh, that that's not how you carry barrels. See there, brother. What was today's password again? We need to pay attention to this. Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Barnacle, yeah? Remember? This changes every save game. There are a set of possible passwords, so we need to remember it's Barnacle. You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Barnacle, yeah? Barnacle, eh? So, and we go back to playing as Link. Oh, that was a fan. That looked kind of weird. Oh, we can't. We can't pull out our sword in this area. Oh. What's down... What if I go back here? What's back here? A lot of green rupees. Basically worthless. I mean, there there's a lot here, but like... No, I want to push... Can I push this off, I wonder? So it just asks me to crouch. Hello and welcome to the bomb shop. How may I help you today? Would you like five bombs, ten bombs, five hundred bombs, even more? No, I'm not even an employee. You don't have anything to say. I mean, you can't say anything right now, but... Bye-bye. And it's still raining, but now we know that the password is Barnacle, so we can go back up here. Oh yeah, the ship is right here. Um, passwords barnacle, we might as well just put it in here. The ship's only tooth is a barnacle. And this changes, like I said earlier, this changes f for every game. I think that's how you spell it. Right, right, you may enter. Okay, good. Great, thanks. Uh, yeah. Um, and, oh, yep, okay. 
Oh, Link. My old swabby Link. So, you're alive? All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought... Never mind what I thought, you're alive. Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here. Well, everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, uh, uh, well, last time, when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Well, yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one to another on your own. Pretty tough. <laughs> and that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on the door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before the time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. The switch that opens the gate in, this is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, swabby. And it locks again. So... And it's open. Ah. Oh, you can't fly. Well, that'll make it harder. You know, swinging on ropes... Uh, the parts of games where you swing on ropes reminds me of one... Uh, well, especially in this game. Where you... When you swing and then you jump onto another one and then you get uh, up at the top. That reminds me of one of the games that Nickelodeon made, or one of their their developers made. Oh, you can't go down further. At one point where you, um, when you swing and you jump up and you get high up on there, you, um, and then have trouble stepping on the button and then you go and then you have to or that's yeah I don't know I don't remember enough to talk about it Could have made it if I just swung longer. Well, I think that's I think that's about it for today. I'll record later. Goodbye for now.